What's up, wrestling fans? We've got John Cena at WrestleMania 37. I know that a lot of you guys are probably wondering who won last night's bet between me and Jake about the ratings. How would Raw do? What did Jake say? What did I say? We're going to talk about that in just a second. But yes, John Cena at WrestleMania. It's big news. He's going to be there. WrestleMania 37. We heard news that guys like Goldberg, Cena, people like that would be at WrestleMania. Will John Cena be a uh, surprise entrant to the Rumble? I don't know. We did have something from WrestleVotes earlier uh, today, and that was interesting, sort of. Uh, this is from WrestleVotes, tweeted out one hour ago. And they said this, that's it, and it's, I mean, this is pretty concerning if you want to, you know, believe that this is real. You know, they've been right about some things, wrong about some things. They're like one out of four. They're like a Meltzer one out of four. Sorry for the lack of details here, but still noteworthy. Um, had a brief conversation earlier with a source regarding the men's Royal Rumble match. They said, quote, there's a finish that scares the death out of me. And it's legitimately getting heavy consideration. Yikes. <coughs> Dude, I almost wouldn't put it past like WWE people to like literally just say that. Because then like any people that even hate will like hate watch the product will definitely hate watch that. I, you know, I don't know. Do, I almost wonder if that's like a like, hey, let's say that. And people will go like, oh, my God, what's it going to be? And then when it's not that, it doesn't matter. You generated all this weird interest. I don't know. It, that's I mean, listen, that's possible. And if it is possible, then leave a like down below because that's what you should do. And if you're new to the channel, why aren't you subbing? We're, every day we're doing this. Every day right here, Joe Cronin Show. We've been doing this since 2012. Let's go. It's time to sub, man. It's time to get to 70,000 subscribers instead of 69. 69 is nice. I like the number. You know why. But um, highly unlikely that The Rock is going to be involved in anything. Probably next year, I would think, would be the time when... You know, we may see The Rock jump on board with some stuff. Um, but yeah, man, uh, John Cena confirmed for WrestleMania 37. And uh, this is reportedly um, being said. There's no word on which night John Cena will be a part of at WrestleMania 37 or who his opponent's going to be. We also have ringside news saying that Cena is 100% lock uh, for WrestleMania 37. Uh, a creative source said, I don't think even Cena knows what he's doing. So that would tell that would make me think that, you know, John Cena is going to be at WrestleMania and he'll be a part of it, but that he's probably maybe not an intricate part of it in any way of like, you know, oh, he's going to be, you know, at the Rumble or anything like that. So it just looks like he's part of it somehow. He could it could be decided that night. Uh, we haven't seen John Cena since he lost that Firefly Funhouse match to Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania 36, which was last year. So it's been a whole year. If we get Cena, that'd be, I guess, kind of cool for a lot of people. Um, but, you know, I don't know. There's nothing else there. But as far as the Raw ratings go, you guys want to look at the Raw ratings and the Raw viewership from last night. This was a big thing. Uh, Jake believed that they would be about 1.6 million uh, views, or that would be the viewership. I said 1.71, I think it was. So I'm actually going to win this because Raw, um, neither one of us was really right, but I was closer. I said 1.71, I believe. I think Jake said 1.68 or something like that. Um, but Raw did, uh, looks like, according to Wrestling Inc., um, 1.8. So they did 1,820,000 people, which is about, you know, about 100,000 pe more people than I thought. 100,000 more people than I thought. 200,000 more than Jake. Probably because there is a little bit of buzz and interest about Rumble. Um, but unfortunately, I think if you tuned into the show, you, you know, and you were like, man, the Rumble's coming up. Let's see what's been going on. You know. I, now, if you're a really casual person and you tune back in, you haven't been watching in a while or weeks, it probably was crazy to see, you know, Alexa Bliss RKO'd by Randy Orton. So, but what 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 of what you saw leads you into the Rumble? Not not a lot, really. You could have just <clears throat> you could have not watched any of Raw, 
for the most part. You know, the only thing worth watching to keep up with storylines for the most part has been SmackDown a little bit. And I mean, and you guys even know what I've said about SmackDown. I still think SmackDown is like a 5 out of 10, you know. But, you know, Raw definitely just no. You don't need nothing out of Raw. You don't need to watch anything out of Raw, man. It's just so damn bad, it's ridiculous. So, that's about it. Uh, Drew McIntyre and why he doesn't want The Fiend involved with the WWE title chase. <clears throat> I mean, listen, we've said this for years. This guy should be considered like an Undertaker or, or, or like a, you know, um, Mankind. Mankind didn't always win, but he sure was threatening. And even when he lost, he was crazy. Unfortunately, though, they booked The Fiend like kind of like Ray from Star Wars or like he's like more supernatural than The Undertaker even, it seemed like. When he was powerful, powerful uh, as this, this guy, he was like The Undertaker when he went up against Jobbers, you know? But that's why you have Jobbers. That's why you have The, the Fiend take on Billy Jones. And yet, you, you have The Fiend in a feud with a guy called Paul McCart McCartney. Who's a who's a beetle? Coincidentally, I don't know. <laughs> Paul McIntosh, how about that, dude? I just named a beetle. <laughs> what the, why? What am I thinking about the Beatles? I don't know. That was I went to throw out a random name and then I said a beetle. <laughs> but yeah, WrestleMania, man, in the same place as the Super Bowl. I mean, it's crazy. The Super Bowl taking place. And it's just weird, man, how it all lines up. WrestleMania, Tampa Bay Bucks at their home stadium. Just kind of weird, isn't it? The one place that the Super Bowl could take place, it takes place. Do you know what I mean? Like, the Super Bowl had been anywhere else. It could have been canceled or something like that. But because it's in Tampa, it's not going to be canceled. You know, it's kind of like when September 11th happens on America, but then the Patriots win the Super Bowl. It's very weird. I don't know, man. I'll tell you what. If, the, if you're out there and you believe in, like, Illuminati type of stuff and weird, I mean... What a, is this a weird coincidence The Wrestlemania took place last year even? It's just weird. I don't know. It's not that weird. You know, WWE was like, yo, let's redo it again and go back down to Tampa. You know, it's, but, you know, the Rumble's there, and it's just yeah, it's a little bizarre. Interestingly coincidental. By the way, today I had some things to say up on Cronin Speaks on Patreon. Thanks to everybody who clicked like and listened to that episode. <clears throat> it's over 25 minutes long. Talked about some things, had some fun, had some questions, and some other thingies. And um, also Off the Rails, man. Off the Rails uh, episode 20 with Drew um, and Jesse also went up. So that was a lot of fun. And uh, I definitely encourage you to listen to episode 20 of Off the Rails. And on Patreon, of course, you guys can go back and listen to anything at any time that you might have missed in the past, man. But so John Cena confirmed at WrestleMania, horrible WrestleMania plan. We don't know what it is. What could it be? I mean, you know, I don't know. Based on that comment by WrestleVotes, I just read it. And I mean, that could just be anything. But that would also help with the rumors because we heard rumors that the men's rumble is going to be first, right? So if the men's rumble is first, is there's a big potential for something sort of negative or goofy to happen at the men's rumble, right? That's why the women are on last, to have a good moment, somebody wins, and it's important seeming, where the men's is more like, you know, something weird's going to happen, or some kind of crappery's going to go on, you know, so that makes sense. And last but not least, what I wanted to talk about real quick, of course, is the fact that WWE still swears by having 25,000 fans at WrestleMania on each night. I mean, that's wild. Each night is going to have 25,000 fans. And, you know, that's not 100,000. It's not 80,000. It's not 60,000. But 25,000 per night for WrestleMania's nights one and two. That's really going to add a familiar dynamic, more of a familiar dynamic, and more of a fun element to WrestleMania if that's the case. And if that's the case, man... I think things will be a little bit more exciting, obviously, than last year. And, you know, again, one of my favorite things last year, besides The Undertaker, was, I mean, Rollins and Owens, man. Last year, Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens really had a really good match. And it's too bad that that wasn't in front of people because I think that that would have been considered, you know, one of the better WrestleMania matches of the last five to ten years, you know, if that had gone down, you know, at WrestleMania. 
last year. Anyway, I'm Joe Cronin. I hope you guys click the like button, click the sub button. I'll be here every day with wrestling news. We're live after every WWE event and AEW as well. Leave your comments down below, guys. What do you think about all this? I'm going to read the comments again tonight. I'm going to peer through them, and I'm going to have one hand where the sun don't shine while I do it. And I'm going to talk about your comments in the next video, potentially. So please drop some stuff. Say whatever you want. Fire away. And uh, make sure you guys become patrons. Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. And listen to what I had to say on the podcast today on my Patreon. More to come. Plus, I uploaded the Jake and Joe podcast uh, to iTunes. So just search Joe Cronin Show on iTunes or Spotify. You'll find it or tell your Amazon device to search it. And uh, she'll either find my podcast with Jake or she'll find Joe Rogan for you. But, uh, you know, you keep you keep persistingly saying that Cronin. And she might hear it the right way. We'll see what happens. Here's some other videos you might have missed. I'm Joe Cronin, and I love you, and I love to put pineapples where my grundle lies. See you guys tonight, possibly for Throwdown.